Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about the Inflate tool in combination with a mask. So we need an example. Okay, there are yeah, special mask situations here. Um, you see here this uh, sphere, cut it in a half and with a shell. So the inside is masked and the outside. So, and uh, when you want to, to bring out the, the, the masked parts or the unmasked parts, you, uh, you can use the gizmo. And in this case, it doesn't work. So when you, you use it in this direction, um, here the inside is, yeah, goes outside and yeah it's not correct and here like this uh, doesn't work it's crazy so how to do this so you have to adjust um, the inflate tool a little bit and here when you use now the inflate tool on the mesh and brush along then you see the this mesh goes outside and the inner mesh goes also in the right direction. So this is what we want. Okay, and I show you the settings of the brush in a few seconds. And here's a, another mesh. So we have a um, yeah, concave and convex uh, areas. And here, when I use for this mesh the mask here, when we use the gizmo, so, sorry, I, I hide this other mesh. So when we use now the gizmo, so we see um, here it's in this direction and here the mask goes in this direction, so inside. Okay, it doesn't work with the gizmo. So you need again the, the inflate tool and you see here now everything goes in, yeah, in the normal direction. So inside here everything the same way. And if you want to change the direction here on the left side, there's a sub function here. So you can use it also in the opposite direction. And then you get something like this. Okay. So this is um, here, where's my inflate tool here we can use here the the clone option and okay so here the pressure settings turn it off the filter make sure that front facing vertex is off and the fall off Use a flat fall off. The alpha is okay. And the stroke, make sure lock radius. So these are the settings for the brush. And now you can press save. And now when you use this brush, it um, does the thing <laughs> uh, like this. So um, with the intensity slider, you can control the intensity of, the, of this behavior and you can use it for such things. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.